yo what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be going over every single boss mule i have we're going to be going over the equips the nodes the stats how good this boss mule is how fast it does bosses do i like it do i recommend it and everything in between this is going to be a super in-depth video and a lot different than usual but i think this is going to be extremely informative especially if you're someone who's looking to start creating boss mules if you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing it is completely free it helps out the channel a ton now that we got that out of the way let's get right into the video these are all of my boss mules these have taken me a very long time to make so definitely when you're starting off on making boss mules don't think you're just gonna get 12 boss mules right away like just take it extremely slow like one by one don't rush 12 like this is legit taking me over eight months to make all of these boss mules it's been a process as been a very long time you can do it a lot faster if you want to i just recommend like having fun with it and then just you know training one if you get bored make another boss mule like don't just go full force and sweat boss mules because it does take time and it is tedious anyways let's just get right into it these three are my boss mules oh this one is obviously if you guys know like my 280 bo anyways starting off we have jet this was my hyper burn i recently had to put nx on this because i just do not like this character at all this boss is fine but keep in mind this thing is at 22.3k stat two line decks 16 star ring two line decks 16 star two line decks i should have actually 17 this on an event definitely overkill to do this this is more than enough for a boss meal keep in mind this is just a 250 mostly my stuff will never all be legendary on a boss meal the only reason why this stuff was is because i did have miso drop gear on this character so just keep that in mind two line 16 stars 16 star this was the fake dom pendy that we got 16 star reinforced 17 cra hat zakum face and i 17 star 17 17 crit damage with stat this is decent 17 as well 17 on this 16 on this a fake three line attack emblem and then the two line WSC. Obviously, you guys will see a pattern with the WSCs on boss mules. Some are crazy, some are cracked, but mostly it's just two line. And then the cape, two line, 17 stars. This class is weird. I don't really like it. The playstyle on this class isn't ideal for a boss mule. And if you're thinking of making like a 220 boss mule, I do not recommend this class at all. Here's the nodes. The trios are 20. The, the nodes are actually like decent on this class as well. Suborbital strike and anti gravity cycle SFF is what you guys want to max these are the most important skills on jet but yeah this is my jet bossing meal i do not recommend this class um the play style is weird it has no burst the damage is really really low this class is rng when it comes down to its damage which is weird as hell this does lomian in 20 minutes like it does all the bosses in 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes but keep in mind this thing is almost 23k stat like it should 20 minutes for lomian is pretty slow for a 250 boss meal with like the gear and the nodes that it has do i recommend this class i do not recommend this class as a bossing mule if you are going to hyper burn it though for the crit damage in the legion you might as well make it a boss mule moving on we have my shadower my shadower is sitting at around 15.6k stats we'll go over the gear 16 star on the sup ring two line event ring three line event ring and three line event ring 16 star i should have actually 17 this on event uh two line 16 stars horn tail necklace 16 stars 17 17 17 17 uh all good pots just two line just one line crit i recommend getting one line crit on your gloves and if you guys are curious on like exactly what to get to legendary i recommend getting the gloves and the wse to legendary 16 stars 16 stars Wow, there's actually like so many gains. It's a pretty good emblem, honestly, for a boss meal. It's like 2.5 lines, but it's 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 good. And then two line and 16 stars, two line. Here are the nodes on this class. The nodes are pretty good as well. I actually only use two trios. I really only use like the one with miso explosion and assassinate. I'm pretty sure you can just get away with only using these two. Ideally, the node should have a shadow veil in the in the third one on this one, but it doesn't. Sonic Blow 25, Trick Blade 18. These nodes actually aren't even good either. That's the crazy part, and I don't even use Shadow Walker, and this class is still so good. So this class does Lomian in 15 minutes. Like every week, I do up to Lomian in 15 minutes with this gear. This is one of my 
best boss meals if not the best boss meal that i have do i recommend this class absolutely yes for a boss meal 100 this is like one of the best if not the best boss meals in the entire game it's so good uh low cooldowns you're like always bursting in every single boss the movement is crazy iframe it's really good it just takes a little bit of time to get used to but i think it's fun playing like i think the miso weaving is not something that should deter you from this class if anything it should make you want to play it more because most of the time boss meals are boring as hell <laughs> moving on we have my hero my hero is sitting at around 14k stats this class is weird i don't know i i'm not the biggest fan of it it's good but we'll go through all the gear and then i'll kind of just let you guys know 17 stars treasure john ring 17 source slime uh decent weapon uh the pendants are kind of scuffed 17 star three line so like the i don't know i think i just need to upgrade this gear a little bit more maybe get reinforced set i stopped getting reinforced set on a lot of my bossing mules but the reinforced set actually helps out a ton because of the boss damage and the just the id as well i recommend going for reinforced goal looks at it's so good it's so good it's so good try to get it if you can for some reason i spent so much notes and i just can't get the right trio 25 on burning soul blade 25 on instinctual combo and that's pretty much all you need for this class weapon aura as well is good and then sword illusion this does low me in, in about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how fast i'm able to do low me in. i definitely don't play this thing as optimally as i should ideally you would want a two-handed sword with plus one attack speed but that's just way too expensive for a boss meal i never i never ever ever recommend getting plus one attack speed on any boss meal it is way too expensive do i recommend this class i do recommend this class but i i know hero is really good but i i think there's better options up next we have my dual blade i love this class this is sitting at around almost 16k stats this class i really 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 enjoy this class i actually like the playstyle a ton um the gear in this class is pretty good but i think db is a really really good boss meal as well i think if you fund it just a little bit more than you would for like a bare minimum it's it's like such a good boss mule i remember when i first made this i didn't like it that much and then i funded it just a little bit more and it became legit one of my best boss mules um really fun class to play low cooldowns which is one thing that you always want when you're playing a boss mule you want a class that is bursting more frequently than not yeah that's the gear um sitting right around 16k stat nodes are pretty good on this class 25 25 25 25 25 22 the nodes are pretty good i'm not gonna lie i did put a lot of nodes in this class and i think this is one boss move that does require a good amount of nodes so keep that in mind if you do want to make db the trios are really annoying to get but this class is really fun and if you have a ton of nodes laying around and you're thinking about making a db i highly recommend this class very very good db is a very good boss move all right moving on to the boss move that i honestly dislike the most my adele my adele sitting at 13.6k for some reason this character just is not it like it does the bosses fast but it just is so annoying like i just feel it's definitely like a higher effort class than normal this boss mule it's like this thing is good it just is it's annoying to play like it's one of my most annoying boss mules to play it's not even that like using the skills are difficult it's just like the way this thing attacks it's like slow like it really feels like you're in quicksand when you're attacking bro and for me like i hate that like i do not like when i'm just stagnant and not able to move especially when the class doesn't have super stands like keep in mind this thing is reset arcanes as well by the way three set arcanes and um 14k stat here's the nodes on this very good nodes everything is pretty good i could put a couple more into ruin and legacy and max infinity blade but i think that's overkill but yeah 25 on the trios the nodes aren't that bad to get on adele if you did want to make an adele bossing meal i think like 500 to a thousand should be more than enough to make this but keep in mind that when you're playing this class there is a lot of stuff to keep up there's just a lot of stuff that you're doing when you're bossing that it's really annoying to have to do constantly as a boss meal but if you like that kind of play style then this is definitely the boss meal for you me personally i don't like it would i recommend it not really i think there's better options out there for you moving on we have my 
my buck that I actually just finished the gear on. I'm really excited to start bossing on this. I have done a few bosses, and let me tell you, this thing is insane. This thing has low cooldowns. This thing is insane when it comes to DPS. Like, it just is constantly doing damage over and over and over and over. Like, this class is so good. So good. I don't even know how to explain it, bro. Movement is really cracked. Uh, super simple to play, which is a huge thing to keep in mind when you are making a boss meal like this thing is very very straightforward very simple you just hold down one button and when you burst you just press the two buttons and you're done that's all there is to it nothing crazy super simple and really straightforward my emblem is pretty good on this but i mean that's not that's obviously not carrying like buck everyone talks about buck and people talk about buck rightfully so like it is a good boss meal to make it is super easy here are my nodes 21 lightning form 25 lord of the deep these two you probably should max out uh my nodes are pretty good on this howling fist is 25 as well howling fist and lord of the deep are the most important nodes when it comes to buck and then obviously the trios are pretty straightforward this class does uh lotus and damien in around like 15 to 20 minutes each week it's becoming one of my best bossing mules and i'm pretty sure i just made this by just funneling the cubes onto this character do i recommend buck as a boss mule absolutely yes this class is so good i'm honestly about to throw up right now because i'm on my ice lightning but i think that just shows you like where we're at with this class i do not like this class at all i actually despise <laughs> playing this thing it is not good and keep in mind i have done a lot to make this class good i'm not just saying it's bad i know i should have the shield like i know but it's whatever for a boss mule i have 50 percent buff duration 20 crit or 19 crit like i have done a lot to make this class good and for some reason it's not like the worst it's not like the worst but it is just so annoying i i would not recommend any infinity class as a boss mule and the reason for that is because if you miss your infinity like you have to wait again to do that boss you know what i mean like you can't just there's a lot of timing issues when it comes to explorer mages and for that reason i really wouldn't recommend any of the three fire poison is pretty good as a boss mule but the nodes are in insane um the gear is pretty good on this class nothing like crazy but the gear is definitely on par and then the 50 buff and the 19 crit definitely carry the nodes aren't like that crazy 20 on jupiter thunder 18 on bolt barrage the trios are pretty good mana overload spirit of snow you have to use decent speed infusion and decent sharp eyes on this class this thing does low man in like 25 minutes every week so it's not super slow but it's just like really annoying to play i hate having to time infinity it's probably one of the most annoying things about boss moves. also you do need to have like a legion page for this you need buff duration for an explorer mage so again i would not recommend explorer mages and i definitely would not recommend ice lightning do not make ice lightning as a boss i'm sorry if you have it r.i.p i feel you but don't make it if you're thinking about making ice lightning <laughs> it's bad it's not good next on the list we have my marksman my marksman is pretty good i'm not a fan of the play style i'm gonna be honest it performs really good in bosses it is super straightforward it's really really easy to play which again is something that you you want to take into account when making a boss mule is it easy to play if it is then it's probably a decent boss mule um but yeah this marksman does the bosses pretty quick i do not have plus one attack speed which once again i don't recommend getting plus one attack speed on your inner ability like it costs way too much money here's what the nodes are looking like right now decent nodes honestly maybe in the future i'll put more nodes into this character 19 on switch shot 17 on repeating crossbow cartridge honestly i might put more nodes on this and see how it is and see if it's like just super cracked because these nodes aren't even that good and this thing still does low min in like 20 to 25 minutes each week the thing with marksman why it's so good is you only need one trio and the trios are super easy to get and you have all of your skills when you hit level 220 you only need like 500 nodes total for this class do i recommend marksman as a boss meal absolutely yes super super low nodes high damage easy to play super simple highly recommend up next we have my kana yo this is the best boss meal in the game if you guys don't have a kana you need to make a the thing with kana is i wouldn't like really recommend someone to make a boss mule out of kana but obviously as you guys can see this was an old miso farmer the equips aren't even good on this thing by the way like the equips are ass like nothing is good about this 
class but it still does the bosses pretty pretty well a lot of people don't play kana right and that's why it's like not the best i know kana is still not one of the best boss moves like you shouldn't make kana as a boss move but if you have it you could probably lower the timing down by quite a bit if you just played it a little bit better um like yeah as you guys can see like i don't even have full absolutes on this thing like i could make this thing super juice if i wanted to 12 star absolute fan like this shit is not good here are the nodes oh i guess the nodes kind of carry the nodes are pretty good max nodes yeah as you guys can see this was an old kana farmer back in the day this thing does require quite a bit of nodes i think so yeah again i wouldn't recommend this class this thing does have boss fams and ied fam so really really good obviously boss damage ia 20k stat almost would i recommend kana as a boss mule no i wouldn't recommend kana as a boss mule all jokes aside there are way better classes to play that are way easier and way simpler to learn this class definitely has a learning curve for that reason i would not make kana finally on the list we have my wind archer this wind archer is actually very very good um it's still missing a ring we have to get this sorted out but my wind archer is very 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 good i do recommend wind, wind archer as a boss mule one because the nodes are super easy but this thing is cracked tier 7 attack with three line on the pot like this thing is actually crazy and it has a little bit of dex wind archer has low cooldowns high damage it's pretty easy to learn and as you guys can see like the equips are nothing special like it's very very standard obviously i know i have obviously i have two set arcanes and an arcane bow which makes this a lot better but wind archer is still such a good boss mule three like <laughs> Okay, maybe this thing is a little bit juice. Three line attack on the emblem. I com I forgot about how good this WSE was. Three line on the emblem, so all right. And then two line boss attack on the secondary. The WSE on this thing is kind of crazy, but when Archer is still a really, really, really good boss mule. It does have a dummy, so if you're someone who likes to like have a dummy when you're bossing, this is definitely the class for you. Um, it's a hurricane class. Survivability is really, really good. Uh, low cooldowns. I'll show you guys the nodes quick as well on this thing. The nodes aren't insane. Howling Gale, Merciless Wind, and Vortex actually the nodes are pretty good you can get away with only having two trios i don't know why i did three like this one is useless like you don't even use this is like if you're maining this class or something so i don't know why i even did this one but yeah this class is really good do i recommend wind archer as a boss meal absolutely yes i think wind archer is a boss meal that a lot of people should make if you guys want to make the best boss meals wind archer is definitely one of the best but that wraps up all of my boss meals i just wanted to make a video fully showcasing all of the boss meals that i have now we do have full videos going in depth on each and every single boss mule that was mentioned in today's video i will leave all those links in the description down below if you guys want more details on each one i just want to make this video because now i have a full understanding of how the class is and i've played these for months now and they're all fully funded so i had a better understanding now but nonetheless i hope this video did help you guys out or at least give you some insight on some of the boss mules that i have and hopefully made making your next boss meal just a little bit easier if you guys do enjoy these types of videos let me know down in the comment sections below if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel once again please consider subscribing and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day now we'll see you guys in the next one peace